Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Artifactory with Azure DevOps. So let's try to understand what is the use of Artifactory. Artifactory is one of the popular binary repository managers. Using Artifactory, you can store build artifacts. Let's say that you're working in a team. They are uh, creating a lot of uh, build artifacts. Let's say they are using Maven for uh, building the Java related uh, application. Let's say they are uh, you know, building microservices. So you're creating a lot of Docker images. So where would you store them? So Artifactory is one of the tool to achieve that. So believe it or not, you know, using Artifactory, you can actually store 27 different type of packages. You know, you can um, use Artifactory to store Helm chart, Docker images, uh, you know, DLL file, EXE files and whatnot. Okay, so irrespective of the technology stack. And Artifactory can be very well integrated with a uh, lot of CACD tools. So you can use Jenkins to integrate with Artifactory. You can use Azure DevOps, you can use TeamCity, but the scope of this video is just to integrate Artifactory with Azure DevOps. So let's try to understand the use case better. So if you look at this diagram, let's say that you are a developer, you are committing your code changes into version control system. So that is going to trigger a build on Azure DevOps. So you're using some kind of a tool for building your uh, application. Once you build your application, you can store the artifact uh, in Artifactory. So if you look at this uh, diagram, right? So the way Artifactory is going to store all the binaries is it is going to use uh, some file store, okay? And then it also uh, creates a metadata, okay? So the metadata is going to point the location of the binaries. So even in future, let's say you are, you are storing uh, uh, let's say in future you are using different place to store your binaries. All you have to do is just change the metadata, right? So that's all. It is as simple as that. Okay. And then of course, once you store your binary files in Artifactory and then using your pipeline, you can deploy into any environment, right? So yeah, so that is kind of a use case of uh, Artifactory. So let's get started, right? Let's see how we can uh, integrate Artifactory with Azure DevOps. All right. So if you look at the prerequisite, uh, yes, we need to install JFrog extension plugin. So if you click on this particular link, so if you see here, this is the plugin we will be installing it, okay? So the scope of this video is we are going to pick up a simple Java project, okay? We are going to pick up a Java project. Uh, so this is my project, right? This is a Java project. This is not a microservice, so I'm not building a Docker image as part of this particular video, I'm just building a war file using Maven. So we are going to, uh, you know, pick up this particular project, okay? And then we are going to, uh, you know, build the war file using Maven, and then we are going to upload it to Artifactory, okay? So we need to install this particular plugin. So we have to install JFrog uh, plugin. Do not install JFrog Artifactory. Um, so that is actually a slightly older plugin, but we are going to go with JFrog plugin. Okay. So this is what we have to install. And then Artifactory needs to be up and running. So this is my Artifactory. Okay. Uh, I did have a uh, set up this in AWS cloud, but it doesn't matter. You can also set up in Azure cloud as well. It doesn't matter as long as uh, you're able to access it. So this is my Artifactory, right? So which is up and running. And then uh, we need to create a service connection. Okay, uh, so so I can show you real quick how to create the service connection. And then of course, this is my Java based project, right? So which, which has been configured in GitHub, all right? So why don't we uh, create the service connection first? Uh, let me go to my Azure DevOps dashboard. So this is my Azure DevOps dashboard, okay? Um, project settings, let's go to service connections. I already created one entry but I'm going to edit that. And then we just have to make sure that we have right uh, URL. So this is my right URL. So I'm going to just uh, replace that. Everything else has been configured. All you need is, you know, you need the Artifactory URL and then you just need to have admin user and password. That's all. So let me replace that. Perfect. Let me fix this. So make sure you have Artifactory in the end. So that's it, right? So this is my admin username and password. So click on verify, there you go. And then click on verify and save. And then of course, make sure that you check this one. 
So you want to grant access uh, permission to all the pipelines and click on verify and save. So that's it, right? So that's our service connection to connect to Artifactory so that this is nothing but I'm just given this particular name. Wonderful. So let me go back to the instructions. So we took care of all the uh, prerequisite. Now all we have to do is, you know, go ahead and then uh, probably create a, you know, a pipeline for building our Java based project, which has been configured in GitHub. And then we are going to check out, build the Java project using uh, May 1, and then we are going to upload the war file into Artifactory. So that is the scope of this video. All right. So why don't we quickly get started on creating a pipeline? So I'm going to go here, click on pipelines. So let me click on new pipeline. Okay. So make sure one, one thing I forgot to tell you, make sure uh, you already have established a connection with GitHub. Okay. So make sure uh, you create a personal access token in GitHub and then you also create a service connection uh, for connecting to GitHub as well. Okay. I know I did uh, forget to mention that, but make sure you do that. Okay. I have already done that. So I'm going to, uh, you know, click on GitHub because that is where our source code is. Okay. So, and we are going to create an AML pipeline. So I don't want to create a classic pipeline. Of course, if you want, you can do that, but let's go with uh, uh, AML pipeline. So click on GitHub. Okay, so now it is going to ask us what is our repository. So basically this is my repository name. So let me quickly uh, copy that. Okay, so let's select that. Okay. So now we have to select uh, which option we wanted to do. Uh, so basically this is a Java based project. So I wanted to use Maven to build it. And then if you are planning to deploy uh, the war file into Azure app service, okay, uh, into Azure cloud, then feel free to select this option. But again, like I said, the scope of this video is just talking about uh, artifact integration with Azure DevOps. So I'm going to click on this option. Okay, so there you go right now the pipeline has been actually created, okay? So now let me see where my palm.xml file is. So if you see here, my palm.xml file is in the root of this web app folder, okay? So I need to make sure I give that over here. But usually if you are having your palm.xml file in the root of, the root of your repository, then you don't have to give this option, okay? So that's it, right? So this should take care of uh, you know, building and, and, and packaging as a war file. Let's try to save this and then let's try to run it before we go too far. And then we can go ahead and then add a task for uploading into Artifactory. So click on run pipeline. Run. Okay, there you go. Awesome guys. So the build has been successful. So we should be able to see, uh, you know, the war file is being created, right? So there you go, right? The war file has been created, perfect, okay? So this is the name of the war file, perfect. All right, so let me go back to the pipeline. So now what we can do, we can go ahead and then add a task for uploading the war file into Artifactory. So like I mentioned, we need to install this particular uh, plugin so I have already installed JFrog plugin and you can also see that here when you click on get it free. So it will clearly say that this plugin is already installed. Let me quickly show you right now. So this is the Azure DevOps organization where I have already installed. There you go, you all see here, right? So this plugin is already installed. Okay, wonderful. So let's go back to the pipeline. Now we should be able to add a task. Okay, all we have to do is go here and then uh, let's select the task here. I'm going to say JFrog, okay? And uh, the, what we are going to do is we need to select uh, JFrog generic artifact. I think this is what it is. You all see here, right? Let me make sure uh, what my instruction says. Yeah, so we have to select JFrog generic, uh, generic artifacts. So let's select this one. Okay, so now all we have to do is select the command. So we are trying to upload. So select that upload from the drop down. And then do you all remember we have created service connection. So this was the service connection what we have saved. 
okay and then this is where we have to provide right values so if you're wondering right so we are actually building a war file isn't it so all you have to do is in the pattern just give star dot war and then replace me right so replace me is nothing but this is where you're going to uh, the mention the location of uh, your repo right so let's go into jfrog so basically i wanted to upload uh, the war file into this particular repository okay so again you can just uh, select this one and then you can go back to the pipeline and then you can provide that if you wanted to have a different repository and then you can create it and then you can you can select that right uh, over here so i think that should do it okay so we selected the command we selected the artifact service connection selected the pattern and then we provided the repository name and then that's it click on add so that's it right so now our task has been added here there you go so our task has been added perfect so now let's let's try to save this okay and then if you want to provide a commitment you can say added a task for artifactory integration and then save let's try to run it okay wow so do you all see here guys so this was able to upload the war file and then we got a status as a success so now if i uh, log in into jfrog okay i just have to go ahead and then click on refresh so the way you're gonna come here let me quickly show you okay so you just need to click on click on here and then click on artifactory and then click on artifacts click on artifacts there you go right so this was our uh you know the repository name and then there you go and you can see here today's date is like you know 10th uh you know um 10th november and then if, of course this is the date and then the time right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you would be able to uh, upload your war file into artifactory using azure devops pipeline thank you for watching this video